Hey Jimmy Beach here with another quick tip for eye candy. I'm going to show you how to use the color gradient editor found in some filters, like Gradient Glow. When you're done, you'll also know how to use the gradient editor in Photoshop because ours works the same way. I have eye candy's gradient glow open. This is the default setting that we're looking at. Let's go to the basic tab. Just like in Photoshop, the bottom area controls the color and the top area controls the opacity. This gradient starts on the left, the side closest to the selection, at 100% opaque, and it drifts off evenly to transparent as you travel farther away from the shape. The left side is the side closest to the shape, and the right side is the outside edge of the glow. On the bottom are the color stops. Each one gradually changes between the stops. Between each stop is a small diamond. It represents the midpoint. Now let's see it in action. I'm going to add a new color stop. Just click near the bottom edge of the gradient bar and select the color gizmo to change the color. Now you can adjust the midpoint if you want the color change to be sharper. And the same rules apply to the opacity side as with the color side. Click on the top to create a new stop and you can adjust the opacity amount. Black is solid and white is transparent. You can adjust the midpoints on this side too. And that's it for this quick tip. Thanks for watching.